everyone, my name is Kiana Rain, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. When I think of spring, I think of home decor, cleaning, and craft. Pretty much that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video, and if you love this kind of content, then make sure you subscribe down below because that's exactly the kind of content that you'll get here at my channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys that shop with me. We are starting out this shop with me in the Dollar Tree. I want to show you these beautiful hand towels. They had so many different patterns and beautiful florals. And I love the white background. It makes it feel more modern and it makes it look higher end. There's also these really beautiful gift bags here that are great for Easter. And this is a good transition from spring to summer. They have these really cool lanterns here. They're paper lanterns with a little light in it. And they have these spring florals. And then the other one says, Hello Spring. I thought these placemats were really good quality. You can put these outside or inside, and I thought the colors were fun. Dollar Tree also had this little basket pre-made here, which would be so fun for Easter if you want to get this for any guys or car lovers in your life. I know most of the guys in my life would love getting something like this. But I was also impressed by all of the beauty products. They had such fun colors and stuff that was so fashionable and in style. Just like this pearl headband here and this bucket hat here. Bucket hats are so popular and Eco Tools is a name brand beauty product they have back in stock and this is a craft book and like I said when I think of spring I think of crafts and I think this will be so great to use with your children and in Easter baskets. These colorful straws are great for coffee bars or bar carts and then this is a flower garland they have it in this white and this colorful pattern thought this would be super fun to use to decorate your house. And then here is just a big overview of all the Easter eggs that they had in store. I'll show you later on which ones I picked up, but the variety and the choices are outstanding. To go along with spring, they also have these flowers here for a dollar, which is such a great deal. Moving on to Target, their dollar spot had awesome cleaning products. They had these scrub brushes, this sponge holder with a little scouring sponge. They also had these gorgeous pumps that you can use for hand soap, hand sanitizer, or even lotion for just $3. I love these half circle doormats. I think they're so fun for layering. There was this floral one and this happy spring, all for just $13. Here is an overview of some of the pillows that they had. Throw pillows are also a really awesome way to decorate. And then I love the baskets that they're in. I love that they're not plastic and I just think they're a great option when you're organizing anything this spring for cleaning. And then they have these really fun printed candles and here's a look at more of those Easter throw pillows. And this adorable basket with the pom poms, how much cuter can it get? And then over here we are in home goods and they have the best spatulas and home decor for your kitchen. I love getting kitchen items at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. Here are some items from the Ray Dunn collections for Easter. Next door is TJ Maxx, and they have a wonderful floral selection. I will say, however, I did not get any florals from TJ Maxx. Instead, I just like to take my inspiration from what I see here because I love to get mine online at Amazon and I'll tell you more about that later on in this video. Here is more of those Ray Dunn inspired Easter decor and then some of their other brands that they carry. Then I just wanted to show you all the great organization containers they have at TJ Maxx. Definitely hit this place up before you go to organize. And then Hobby Lobby is killing it with the fruit themed decor. I love this style with lemons, watermelons, peaches. I think it's a great transition from spring into summer. And right here you can see that they are having 40% off everything labeled spring. And a lot of their spring items are super summery. So go ahead and get your summer items now so you can get ahead of these deals. You don't have to wake up yet. Typically, Hobby Lobby pulls towards the farmhouse style, but I've been noticing they are branching out into other styles like glam and boho and even that coastal look. I love this collection right here. A lot of times Hobby Lobby will organize their different items into one singular style, so it's super easy to find pieces that go with one another. Like all these hand towels go well together and if you back up here you can see all of the placemats, table runners, utensils, and bowls that also go with that same style. 
And right over here they have some more gorgeous florals. And these I thought were so cool. These are name card holders and I actually DIY these later on in the video because those were $4 and I need it for less than one. saxophone we'll order in a bunch of food i'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone shut the lights go in front Real quickly, I just wanted to say that I think doing a bee or honey theme for your spring decor would be a super great idea and it's super timeless so you can use it year after year. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Let's be real, you all just saw it. Those stores primarily had lots of Easter decor as opposed to spring decor. And if you're anything like me, you like your Easter decor, don't get me wrong, but you're really looking for those spring staples to just bring back year after year and to have out in your home longer because you know, Easter, you're not gonna want to have out on display for three months on end in your home. However, I did see so many opportunities to be creative with what they did have in the store and make them more spring themed as opposed to Easter. If you want to know where any of these items are from, I will leave the logo in the bottom corner for you, well as the description down below, so don't forget to check it out. The first product I want to share with you all is probably my favorite, and it is these flowers here. These are silk flowers by the brand Ling's Moment, and these flowers were introduced to me by one of my best friends. They come in a box like this, and this one is mostly empty because we used these for my wedding. Talk about keeping your wedding flowers forever. Life hack. But let me give you a close-up of what this bouquet looks like. This flower here and this one right here, those ones are all made of silk. I'm gonna be real with you all. My cats hate plants or they really love plants and they just really don't know how to express their love appropriately. Either way, my cats like to press up against these. If these ever get crinkly or smushed or even gross just because you've had them back in this box, you can use your steamer and they will freshen up and they look just like fresh flowers. You pay $30 for an entire box. Price ranges depending on what kind you get. But the best part about this is you don't have to pay for multiple floral picks. I know at the dollar store you can pay just a dollar for different kinds of flowers, but they will not be this quality. If you love your floral arrangements, then go ahead and spend the extra money. So I'll go ahead and link these below. And this is what it looks like on the Amazon listing. They have all these different kinds. I got these white ones for my wedding, but again, I'm probably going to invest in different colors as time goes on. Something that I've realized is really trendy as of lately are those faux cakes that people use for display. I've seen people use them for the holidays, for Valentine's Day, and I've seen lots of people show on their Instagram and on their YouTube channels that they're investing in those cakes for Easter and spring. But have you guys looked at how much those cost? Um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel comfortable spending that much money on a fake cake. Don't get me wrong, they're gorgeous, they're beautiful. When you're getting something handmade from an artist, a higher price is completely reasonable. However, when you're in your early 20s and you're a homemaker and you're trying to figure stuff out, you most likely don't have anywhere from 30 to $60 for a fake cake. But that is where Bargain Bethany came in handy for me. Bargain Bethany is this really great DIY channel here on YouTube. I will link her video up here for you where she shows you exactly how she makes these cakes. I'll brief show you later on in this video but I want to show you what I picked up for those. I couldn't find exactly all the products that Bethany had recommended in her video to make these but I did pick up what I could. I found this little pack of Play-Doh molding over at the Dollar Tree. These are also a really great item idea for any Easter baskets. I showed you some really great Easter basket items from the Dollar Tree earlier in this video and this is just another one of those that would be great in a kid's Easter basket. I have already opened this and used it to get started on that DIY. I also found this by Crayola. It is their modeling dough. It comes in different colors. Uh, my store only had the blue one. I also went ahead and picked up some all-purpose caulk. I couldn't find spackling at my Dollar Tree and I didn't want to go to Home Depot and buy a big bag for just a tiny little project. So I picked up this and we're using this for those cakes for the little icing designs and this already had a little tip here so I didn't have to repipe it into a piping bag. So I'm hoping that this works out great. But I know I told you to go ahead and invest in that $30 floral box from Ling's Moment, but I will tell you, I do still love to get floral picks from the dollar store, especially floral picks.
picks that really pull towards a certain season or holiday. I picked up both these berries. Here they had them in multiple colors. They had lavender, this sky blue, and they had a powder pink. I picked up the blue here. I will say I'm not a fan of the leaves. They look a little too fake for me, but it's all about whatever style you're going for. If you're going for that really poppy look, this is great. I'm gonna use this in some of those arrangements to help those classic white bouquets over there feel a little more springtime and right and eastery. They also had these little grass picks with these Easter eggs on there and the Easter eggs have this little holographic buzz on them. I thought they looked so pretty and I have lots of light pink and light blue in my house. It's kind of my vibe. I have light pink glasses and I'm wearing a light blue shirt, so um, branding. I also found these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous draping wisteria branches from the dollar store. I thought the color was beautiful and super springy. You do only get two to three little strings on there, but I think this is a great price. I've seen these get really popular in super tall vases. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and mix these with pre existing bouquets and plants that I already have in my house just to add that really light spring touch because you don't have to buy all new items. You don't have to spend a ton of money to really refresh your house for the new season. I found these gorgeous, gorgeous placemats at the dollar store and this feels really good. It is a little thin but not thin enough that you can see through it. On the back is this bright pink and you can even flip this over if you wanted to use this for other holidays like Valentine's Day but it had this really really pretty floral pattern on there. And I went with the one with the hot pink little roses and these coral flowers. And again, it has that light blue touch in there, which I thought would go well with the other things that I picked up. So I went ahead and picked up two of these for our kitchen island. I was so happy to find microfiber kitchen towels that match. So I went ahead and picked up one of these to put on our oven door. I can't believe the dollar store has such gorgeous patterns. And I showed you some of the other patterns that they had. Favorite Easter eggs that I saw at the Dollar Tree. You can use this for the DIY that I'll show you later on in the video, or you can use it for your Easter baskets. I just love the pastel colors that they had at the dollar store. I think pastel just has a way of looking so elegant and pretty. Found these little foam eggs with glitter on them and they have these little hangers up at the top. I'm thinking about either using them as a vase filler or in this wreath I'm making later. I picked up two of these. Each bag has 18 Easter eggs in it. And again, those beautiful pastel colors in here. And then in those same colors, they also had these holographic versions of those. So this one has 10 in a pack, and this one is very, very large eggs. They're six in a pack, just to give you a size comparison of them. I thought these would be super fun to put on a wreath, so we'll see how that looks later on. I also went ahead and picked up these. These are super cute. They're little carrots. I figured you could use these on a wreath to decorate the fake cake I showed you like earlier, or again, as just table top decor. They have these little twine like texture on there with some raffia leaves at the top. I picked up two bags of the sweet tart jelly beans and really I just picked these out A because they may or may not be my favorite jelly beans. Definitely a close tie between these and the nerds jelly beans. I picked them because they have the same beautiful pastel colors that the Easter eggs had. A great way to make all your home decor seem cohesive is to find those similar color palettes. Picked up some of these for a DIY and maybe to eat some it's fine. It is no secret the Dollar Tree has great glassware. I just went ahead and picked up one of their really simple hurricanes. This is the tall nine inch hurricane. I have seen so many YouTubers rave about the dollar store puck light and I kind of believe them because my store rarely has these in stock. But when I went the other day, they were fully loaded. I went ahead and picked these up and I put two of them under the cabinets in my kitchen. They are a bright daylight color tone. They are not a warm tone. And if you're like me, I love the daylight color in our home. I love the brightness, the openness. It makes me feel happier. It helps our home feel cleaner. But to each their own, I know some people love the warm light. This is 800 lumens, which is super bright. It takes three AAA batteries and we use the rechargeable ones from Amazon. The next category are actually things that were a gift to me, which I am so grateful for. It is because all of the wonderful women in my life know how much I love taking care of my home and my planet. They went ahead and gifted me some really awesome products that I probably would have bought myself anyways for spring.
spring. The first item I was gifted were these sponges in this gorgeous blue and pink color. Again, completely on brand. The next is reusable cleaning gloves. I really like to use the reusable ones. They go further than the latex. They're much better for the environment. And these ones just happen to be in a really beautiful pink color that really goes with the theme we have going on here. I took the tags off of these already, but I was gifted some new wooden utensils. And I think these are actually a bamboo or orange wood. I briefly read the tag and threw them away. I'm sorry. They're really good for the environment as opposed to your plastic spoons. These were such a nice touch to add some natural elements into my kitchen and I love the patterns of the wood grain in there. Another really awesome way to just freshen up your space buy some soap. I was gifted this soap. It is from the brand Buff City Soap and this is in the scent Love Potion. It has this beautiful marble pattern. I have lots of stores near me that are local small businesses that sell soap and I'm gonna be honest here is my problem with bar soap you use it for a little bit and it gets gross but here's a way to go about that because once it gets gross for me I want to throw it away here's what I recommend take a knife and stick it in some warm water it's gonna go ahead and heat up the knife and make it a lot easier to cut through these pieces of soap cut them into smaller cubes so that way when they do start to get gross you're not throwing away an entire block you're just throwing away a tiny little piece of it it's gonna help your bar soap and these handmade products go so much further in your home and they look so gorgeous on display i love that it has this purple color which i do have in some of this other home decor here y'all i swear sometimes me and my mother-in-law read each other's mind without even knowing that we're reading each other's mind i have been looking on amazon for these reusable paper towels for probably over a year now and on valentine's day she went ahead and surprised me and chance with these in our mailbox these are some cellulose swedish dish towels aka reusable paper towels and they're in this really fun lemon pattern which if you saw a theme at Hobby Lobby this fruit pattern is so in I saw peaches watermelon lemons cool thing about that that's one of those transitional pieces that can go straight from spring right into summer and seem seamless I'm super excited to try these and she did say that she was loving them so I'm sure I will love them too all right y'all let's get into some really fun DIY home decor let's go know what I got to get started with our cake, I have a spoon here, a piece of styrofoam to act as the base, a hot glue gun, some paint in your choice of colors, some modeling dough, 3D puff paint for design, some plastic plates, a thing of caulk, and more modeling dough. And then I just wanna mention that the best is to get a flat piece of styrofoam, but I have this round one here, and it's all I could find at my store, so we're gonna make it work. I started off by laying out the modeling clay all over the top of the styrofoam and letting it dry and then I started painting it my choice of color. But here's where I started running into some hiccups. Once I started painting, it started to crack on the modeling clay no matter how much I let it dry and no matter how many coats of paint I did. So what I did to fix it is I started pouring out some of the caulk and I went ahead and mixed it with the paint. It did change the color just a little bit because you are mixing white and then whatever color you wanted and then i just iced this onto the styrofoam as if it was an actual cake and it looked so real the texture is gorgeous i love the fluffiness and then just to add a little bit of glam to it i went ahead and sprinkled on some of this holographic glitter that i got from target once that dried, I went ahead and transferred it over to a piece of wax paper and then I started doing a zigzag piping pattern all around the border of the cake. I went ahead and put a pile of icing at the top, stuck the carrot on, and then trimmed it with the same zigzag piping pattern. And here is how the cake turned out. I love it and it looks super cute on display. Moving on to our wreath, I'm going ahead and taking a pool noodle and I am taping the ends together into a circle to act as our wreath base. This will also allow for us to have a larger wreath than if we were to use the normal foam floral foams. So here I am just adding extra tape for protection and then I'm using this $5 garland that I got at Hobby Lobby. From here I'm using hot glue and floral wire to go ahead and attach the garland, the eggs, and any floral to the wreath form. And here is how the finished product turned out. I love it. Here I take together two toilet paper rolls and stuck it into the middle of this hurricane and filled the sides with jelly beans. I didn't have enough but I'll go ahead and post this on my Instagram later this week so you guys can see how that DIY turned out. Next up I am trying to recreate something I saw at Hobby Lobby which are these floral name card holders. I'm just taking a piece of cardboard and a Dollar Tree floral piece and hot gluing it to the cardboard. 
Then I'm taking some floral wire and I'm twisting it into a spiral just like the Hobby Lobby one. And then once I create that spiral, I'm just going to create a little stand for it to get glued into the center of the rose. And here is how that turned out. I absolutely love all of these DIYs and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.